Hey everyone, welcome back to Robot James. My name is Rob, and today we are going to be going over my three month progress in Unreal Engine 5. We're gonna be showcasing some of the stuff I've started. Let's get into it. All right, starting off with the vertical runner. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones, but this is where the early development of the game came into fruition. I have this cool wall jump mechanic. I have the UI and um, these coins you can collect. Thinking back on it now, I tried making this game in a week. And so there's a lot of things that just aren't there, like this wall jump animation. He just kind of goes from side to side. There are also some enemy AI that I put into the game that I eventually just took out because I felt like it didn't fit. But yeah, this is what kind of started it all. I'm gonna move on to the actual level design I had made and let's oh man let's let's take a visit all right here we go I man this color scheme is not I don't know what I was thinking with this color scheme but yeah this is the vertical runner game so far as you can see I have some platforms that have this elevator mechanic if you look around these are all basically cubes at this point I just started so I basically just duplicated a bunch of these cubes instead of just using the modeling mode yeah so the objective was to just get to the top as fast as possible but we're, we're actually gonna we're gonna try just for the sake of the video for the sake of the showcase all right here we go if I could actually play this game that I created I did like some of these jumps that you have to utilize to get up to different spots um, this one is also kind of difficult but we did it. All right, this one, you got to time it super well. We're going to go and <laughs> straight on to it like that. I don't know. I, I don't know why I made it so difficult. Um, oh, gosh. We're going to take a different route this time. What I had in mind for this game was I wanted to make it multiplayer. So that is with the various different routes. And then, I don't know, whoever makes it to the top first obviously wins. But yeah, I was kind of inspired by Only Up. And then I feel like there's a, another game that... Uh, I was kind of modeling on it but yeah as you can see these get shorter or they get smaller as you go along oh gosh okay nice <laughs> so I, I remember i made this mechanic so you probably wouldn't see it if you're playing it these jump pad boxes are kind of weird you have to just run over it to get the the height you want but if you um just kind of jump onto it you'll you'll uh not jump as high but yeah this was where i was struggling the most i even got to the point where I made these closer together but man this is just so I don't know why I made this so difficult okay and I did it first try uh, somehow all right you guys witnessed something actually insane I spent so long trying to get to the top yeah I can't believe we did we missed we have everything but one coin and I think that coins right over there there was gonna be like a finish line right here but I imported the model into into unreal after making it and it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to that's where I kind of stopped with the game but yeah I think if I were to come back and remaster it I want to have kind of the same concept and actually finish it because I think there is a lot of potential with this game the next one up was this kind of cool town runner game. Wanted to have some enemies spawn and you had to shoot them. It was kind of be like a wave system. Um, I was really just kind of experimenting with the level design on this. All these assets I found on the Fab Marketplace. I'm in no way am I a 3D artist or anything like that. I actually did try and model a spooky tree for a different level I had in mind. It's kind of clunky. You can't turn yet at all. So you're just kind of running in one direction. But yeah, I had a cool idea for this one. And then once you, once you got enough points you can unlock a door let's see i think we can just hop over this yeah you can you can um unlock a door so for this next section i was going to do a spooky forest and then the the monsters or enemies or whatever get exponentially harder but yeah this was just kind of the next in progress thing but yeah nothing special with this project i do want to come back to this later on again once i have more skill and, and knowledge and actually make this into a game so yeah let's move on to the next one all right, moving on to the game that I have the most time spent in currently and actually is somewhat of a game is my UFO shooter. If you saw my last video, that was a, a devlog for this guy. So far, these are just kind of stagnant, but I do want these to have active rotation. And if you collide with it, then you do blow up. And same goes with this barrier, still working on that. I also want to make it so each asteroid has a certain amount of health so you can actually, you know, destroy them. I might add some multiplayer later on down the road. I like the space scape. It looks pretty nice. Shadows look really good uh, and you know just got to continue this one and see where it takes us all right moving on to this more kind of a horror flashlight game i started i actually started this while making the ufo shooter i was kind of messing around with some some level design again this game was pretty pretty creepy i added some sound effects added some sound ambience into the game 
And <laughs> you see the UFO just kind of just teleports right there. This is as far as I got with it. I do want to make it so the UFO shoots down like a tractor beam and then an alien spawns and then he kind of hunts you. I think that'd be pretty scary. It's kind of walking around. There's this shack here uh, that you can actually go inside to hide if you want. I don't know. Yeah, the UFO is right there. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of stagnant. You can just walk in here and just chill. Might be good for like a jump scare or something. This is kind of where I ended with this one. I actually, within this game, I got really interested in some liminal pool rooms. I'm going to change the lighting in a second because I did make it so there is, so it's like dark and kind of spooky. But I don't know, something about liminal pool rooms is just kind of intriguing to me. Just kind of creepy, eerie. The water also is just a plane with a texture on it. So you can just walk on it. It's not too creepy with this lighting, but when I change the lighting to night, then it becomes a little more creepy. Here's like another little room. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Let's change this to nighttime. But yeah, just walking through again. Definitely a little more creepy, but for this, I still need to add some like sound effects and whatnot, like the, the footsteps and then some water sounds. I think it'd be cool to add some like waterfalls around there, maybe on both sides or something. But yeah, this is kind of uh, this is kind of this one. I mean, it's not crazy, but uh, I do want to explore some more pool rooms, maybe some backroom stuff later on in the future. All right, moving on to the third game I've started in Unreal Engine 5 is more of a level design. Again, I was kind of experimenting with a little bit of a more dungeon styled game, ARPG. I do plan on continuing this one. I'm excited to see where this one goes. This actually used to be a huge cave system, but the lighting was kind of weird. So I just ended up making it this kind of like arch tower. I haven't really added a whole bunch into it. I do want to add some monsters and a level up system with like gear, just ARPG style. And then over here, <laughs> it's not <laughs> animated yet. I did find this cool rock monster on Fab. This one is definitely a, a big work in progress. All right, moving on to the last and final game I've started in Unreal Engine 5 is this third person shooter. Originally, it was going to be the zombie chaser, like the zombie runner defense type game. While I was making this, I got really into Jurassic Park again. I just finished watching Jurassic Park 3, and so I thought it'd be cool to maybe turn this into like a dino game. So I found this model on Fab. Still need to animate it, but so far, I mean, that's pretty scary. I kind of went around and messed with some level design again, and you know, it's kind of bringing the whole Jurassic park vibe to life but yeah that's kind of it for this one i do need to add a character for this but yeah this is everything i've made throughout the three months of unreal engine excited to see where this game development channel goes but yeah, i really hope y'all really enjoyed today's video leave a like subscribe and let me know what game y'all enjoyed the most and any feedback as always is much appreciated i will see y'all in the next one see you later